I was nervous anyway, and I was definitely nervous about Splash because I knew that there was a big drop in it. Yeah. And as we were walking past, there was this little kid who was <laughs> like, he was so terrible! <laughs> like to her dad, <laughs> he was just like, <laughs> and trying to calm her down, and I just walked past and was like, nope, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> You ready? Yes. Hello! Hi! We've got Disney tumblers. Yay! <laughs> we bought these on our last trip. Wrong. Mm. We were gifted these because I'm you sorry. broke the one that I <laughs> <laughs> We found these on our last trip. We bought... We bought one of these and then sort of lost it in a cinema. We did. And then... And then the lovely Paula, who watches the channel, <laughs> <laughs> sent us these, one from California and one from Walt Disney World in Florida. It's one of the best things we've ever received ever in our lives, ever. So, as many of you know, we are daily vlogging through the... Um, quarantine. Quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Monday to Friday, but we're going to have lives on a Tuesday. I think we'll let you know yeah. um, the exact time, but I think it'll be about 6 o'clock. About 6. So lives on a Tuesday and Fridays are going to be Disney Fridays! Yay! <laughs> so we thought, you okay? That's not our diner. <laughs> Just trying to show that. I love that top. I know, me too. Where's it from again? Magical Day Apparel. Magical Day Apparel, we will link them By below. By Yaz and Ash, who yeah. also have a vlog channel, sorry. That's alright. Go on. They gifted it to you. They did gift it to me <laughs> um, and I love it and I'm going to get some more because they're amazing. Especially because we're doing more Disney videos! Yeah! So, we thought the first Disney video we should do is one that we should have done a very long time ago. I can't believe we've had this channel the length of time we've had oh. the channel and we've never talked about this. I know. It, it's mental to me. It's one of my favourite memories I've got, or like our favourite, my favourite time of ours. I know, and it feels like, like the Sophie and Dave that we are yeah. was like born on that trip. Yeah, definitely. Because up until our first ever Disney trip one. I know you just know what you're gonna say. That we were long distance. Yeah, we had barely spent any time together really. Yeah, like we, we <laughs> loved each other, but we saw each other like once every six weeks for like a weekend. Yeah. And it was always in like a shared house where you were staying with other people. We'd never really been alone. So this like we were we met in two thousand and nine in the summer and this holiday was September. Of 2011. Because in 2010 you did the college program. I did the Disney ICP yeah. so I worked there the summer before that we went. <laughs> we are talking today specifically about September of 2011 which yes. was our first ever trip to Disney together. Yes. So let's do the story time. <laughs> I've just realised, look at how filthy my hands are. Oh. I've been playing with Chip in the garden. <laughs> and my nails are like covered with like dirt. They don't want that bad. Yeah, they? it's it's just dirt. They actually don't want that bad. <laughs> so like we said, I got back from my Disney um, college programme um, in 2010. And the minute I got to Disney, I fell in love with it. And it was actually kind of painful because everything that I did, I just thought how much you would love it. And I really like restricted doing things. Like I feel kind of bad now looking back, but I didn't really want to eat at a lot of places or do a lot of rides. And when you work at Disney, you work so much anyway that you don't have a load of free time. Um, but I just remember thinking like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that for the first time with you. But I did do quite a lot. You're I think I did a lot in the Magic Kingdom because that was the park that I worked in. But some of the other parks felt like it was our first time together doing things yeah. on this trip. Yeah. So the minute that I got back, I just knew that we had to go. But we like we were we were both like broke back then. I was in uni, um, training to be a teacher, and Dave was down in London pursuing acting. I was in between jobs, pro yeah. most likely ushering, but did a bit of scare acting in that time as yeah. well. But um, that lifestyle is just live to pay your rent, yeah. isn't it? It's not you, there's no way you could yeah. have afforded half a trip to Disney. Absolutely <laughs> like no way. Like it just way. wouldn't have happened. So 
Anyway, <laughs> I don't know whether my, uh, I hope my dad's not watching this because I don't think he knows this, but I spent my student loan <laughs> <laughs> on our trip to Disney. Um, I still got my degree, so it was fine. <laughs> Back then, you got like one lump sum that was meant to last you for the whole year, and <laughs> <laughs> I blew it. I didn't put like the hundred pound deposit down. I just paid it for best wife slash girlfriend <laughs> award in the world. Yeah, but. I then felt massive pressure because I had been so clear. I am not a theme park person really no. at all. And I knew that. Which is so funny like to we say. We would never have gone to Thorpe Park together or no. Alton Towers well, together. I or... worked at Thorpe Park when I was saying I was a scare actor. I worked at Thorpe Park um, 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 among that time and I was allowed to go on anything I wanted really. You and didn't. I, I literally <laughs> didn't. I didn't. I went on one ride, I think, the whole few months that I worked there. Yeah. Um, it just isn't really like those like thrill seeker parks is really not me no um, and so I think it kind of came up because of that as well and you were like oh what, what about you know these like if, if you were to ever go to Disney World you wanna, you'd want to ride stuff wouldn't you and I'd be like nah I just don't think it's for me I wouldn't want to waste like waste all that money because I wouldn't want to and so and you guys that know Disney can you can imagine how much I loved it how much I knew it's not real those rides are not meant to scare you no like we all know that Disney isn't there to like it's not really thrill no. seeking rides they're, they're so fun but they're not scary and I was just like gutted but so stubborn that you would love it yeah I was like no I know you I'm I, I, in my head I was like okay Tower of Terror Rocking Roller Coaster and Everest I was like those three I'm not gonna Force. I'm not going to force on you. But I said, you've got to try Big Thunder. And you've got to try Splash. I was like, you're just going to love it. You're going to have the best time. And to be fair, the, the, of those three rides you just talked about as well, the scarier ones, she was like, if you did want to go on, what, what we could do is pretend that I'm scared. We could go on the go on the line, and if you decide you don't want to go last we minute... We had a code word, yeah, didn't we? I can't remember yeah, what it was now. I can't remember what it was either. But if you said the code word, I was going to like freak out yeah be like oh my god i can't do it and then and then i would say face and then we wouldn't have to do it but oh, we i did never, we all never the rights. had to use the code no, word because they're all awesome but yeah i uh I, yeah i definitely felt the pressure and you know from the other side of it i, I i'm so glad that we did because i know how awesome it must have been to be able to share that like i would love to be on the other side of that to for oh you to gosh. never have gone and, and to be able to share it with you with our baby yeah that's we so get true to, like, hit, we get to be the ones to take him to disney yeah. every every year <laughs> every, <laughs> every twice year. a year no um it's yeah so i'm obviously i'm so grateful but i just like i i get it now like how you i just know. like loved the countdown to that holiday just imagining us being there two weeks together like like we said we were long distance so the fact that like we lived together for two weeks I had never um, also but that which was amazing and like we'll talk about that in a minute but yeah. like I had never been on a two-week holiday before I'd no. only ever gone away for one week and um, at the time everything was like fake paper fast passes uh we basically just turned our phones off and left there was them no need to use in... your phone there wasn't even wi-fi in the park there wasn't there was wi-fi in our room yeah and that was it, it i think you had to pay for it yeah i think we yeah, did we, we did we had to pay for it so um yeah it was it was crazy but i think because of that because there was no distractions i feel like we just got to know each other so we well in that time and People talk about the Disney bubble, and I do agree it's still there, but because we've had that experience, yeah. it's a different kind of totally bubble. Totally different. Like, we hardly have any pictures because there was no Instagram really. I mean, no. there was, but we weren't really on it, or Facebook. I don't know, we just, we didn't really care about documenting it in any way. We no. just enjoyed it. We were just and, there for the moment, really. Yeah, and I think that's, as much as I wish we had vlogs of it, I think it's so nice that that's just like... Yeah. The start of our relationship was just, um, yeah. you know, off camera. <laughs> totally. But yeah, it, like you say, it really founded, like, was the foundation for our relationship. Sophie and Dave were, were made <laughs> in Disney. <laughs> yeah. So, like we said, I was at university in Liverpool. Dave was living down in London, so we decided to fly 
we flew with Virgin and we flew from London. So I can't remember, where were we living? You were living in Edmonton. I was living in Edmonton, which is like yeah, in North London, sort of, yeah. So we got the Tube and then the Gatwick Express? Yeah. 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 No, our... we got the overground to the Tube to the Gatwick Express. So we got the overground to Finsbury Park. Okay. And then the Tube to Victoria and then the Gatwick Express from Victoria. London. <laughs> and I just remember being so broke. Like, we yeah. had no money. The whole summer, we went in September, and that whole summer I'd worked as a pot wash in a pub. And I remember my hands, do you remember? They were like battered because yeah. of like just the amount of washing up I'd done that whole. I think it was like eight weeks of pot washing. And I had done like extra because it was like kids' shows in the daytime. I was, I was front of, doing front of house. Yeah. It was kids' shows in the daytime and then regular shows in the evening. And I was doing like as many double sh like days as possible. So basically, yeah. just meant I was doing 12 and hour days. And do you remember days. like we, we um, saved up for like the Gatwick Express and even like my train down to London was like. We were saving for that and then Dave had like no clothes to take and I bought you that bundle off eBay. Yeah. This guy was selling like all his clothes and you know when you see like a really weird bundle of clothes on someone's eBay and it's like just like a bag of clothes yeah. and you can't even like see what's, what's in there. What's in there? Just like a bag of clothes. <laughs> and I bought Dave this bag of clothes and there was one t-shirt. It was black with a drum kit on it yeah. and you loved it. Well, the, I'll we'll put a picture in here because I've definitely got a picture yeah. with it on. I did, I loved it. So, <laughs> in fact, I think I, I, sang, I sang my American Idol thing with you it did. on, didn't yeah, I? You did, because you, you wore like, your best outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my most rock and roll. <laughs> They didn't have magic bands then, but it was exactly the same kind of thing, but on a card. Yeah, it so was our, like a swipe card thing. Yes, yeah, so that had all our quick service credits on it. And obviously our room was paid for, the Disney bus system and monorail was obviously all paid for. So I don't think like we'd ever lived with so much like... We felt rich. Yeah, like we were so, so rich. rich. And like, <laughs> especially like you were saying, when you live in London, it's like hand to mouth. You're basically, yeah, trying to, trying to get your rent paid and like scraping by and then you go and it's like this amazing hotel, free buses and then you go and they basically say eat whatever you want. If you go to quick service, like there's no way to overspend and then have to like pay extra. They'll just be like, oh that's not in a quick service plan. So anything you get is free. Yeah. Um. So that was crazy. I know. And we we're really lucky as well. We ended up... Um, there was a little bit of a mix up with our room when we first got there. Oh, is this the money? The, yeah. So, yeah, we took no dollars with us at all. Zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been fine though. A bit irresponsible. Well, but. yeah, that's true. But um, anyway, so we got, when we first got there, there was a bit of a mix up. Um, I think they were having a bit of a mayor. So we, we got there and the checking system had gone down. We See, stayed that's at, what I said. We stayed at Coronado Springs. So when we got there and it was pouring rain, do you remember? Yeah. And I remember being like, oh my God, <laughs> like this isn't meant to be how it is, but that's just Florida. It rains for like half an hour, then it's fine. Yeah. So we got there in the pouring rain. We got the Magical Ex Express, didn't we? Yeah. Um, which was fun. Yeah, it was amazing. To Coronado Springs. Our driver was called Cecil. Cecil. We always talk about him We now. do, yeah. <laughs> He said it's <laughs> something like it takes 45 minutes to get there, but he'll get us in 25 minutes. Or yeah, less. he was like, it takes 45 minutes, but I'll get you there in 25 or less. And we were like, no, I want to get there alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did drive he very did. fast. He did. But not like dangerously fast. I think he, it was just, yeah, straight it road driving. It definitely doesn't take 40 minutes, does it, no. from the airport? Anyway. Um, so we got there, it was, it was raining, yeah. the system was down. And um, they couldn't even give us um, our like check-in cards or anything with our quick service and we were both starving because we'd not really eaten much that day because, you know, no Traveling money. Travelling <laughs> and no money. <laughs> like, we'll eat when we get there. It was fine, it wasn't like the best start. I think it took about two hours of waiting to get into our yeah. room. And then we got into our room at Coronado Springs and it was weird because they'd obviously cleaned it. It wasn't like it was dirty, but they hadn't like, you know, done like the changeover of, of people. So we got in there and I was like, that's strange. Like there was something in the bathroom, like hair bubbles or something on the sink. Yeah. And then we looked in the fridge and the fridge was just like full of like old 
Yeah. Like mouldy food. It wasn't. It wasn't mouldy. It, it, it was. It, it was had old. definitely been eaten. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like like half it was. Eaten it was like cake. half a cupcake that someone had brought back. That was back in the day when you used to get those chocolate puddings. Yeah. With every quick service. Oh yeah. And, and so, it had like all the little mini Mickey's on the yeah. top of it. Yeah. So I think there was like loads of those like. Yeah. In and just like yeah, bottles of water and stuff that were like open. Yeah. But I mean, at this point, it was like three in the morning our time. We were exhausted. We called the front desk to, just to let them know that because we were worried it was like someone else's room yeah. <laughs> more than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we were in like the the rancher section, which we actually really loved. Yeah, we did. And they were re they were really apologetic and just said, um, "I'm so sorry that room. There's no one staying. The beds have been changed, but we'll send someone tomorrow to do a big deep clean on the room." So we were just like, "That's fine. We'll just go to sleep." And when we're at Magic Kingdom tomorrow, someone will come and. Um, <laughs> someone will come and clean the room and um that was fine we we didn't like complain we just called and told them the situation and then this sounds like we're like the biggest complainers ever but, not at all but when you like say oh we didn't really say when you spend your whole student loan or something yeah, 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 wait yeah. for a year like you want things to be nice and i noticed that um I think it's called housekeeping now, but it was mousekeeping. Mousekeeping at the time. Mousekeeping yeah. weren't coming to our room at all. They came and did that deep clean the next day, but then after that, no one came to like make the beds or change the towels or anything. And it got to like day three, and I thought this is really strange. Now yeah. like, we'd run out of towels, we'd use them a few times, and like we just kind of expect your bed to at least be changed like every three or four days, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, we got off the bus mm -hmm. and we went in to just to speak to them basically because we wanted to make sure that everything was okay mm -hmm. um, and they were really really lovely and they got their manager um, Miriam. who was called Miriam <laughs> who we've been speaking about ever since. This is literally like nine years ago. Yeah. So we've been speaking about her for a long time. <laughs> she was very nice. She was great. Anyway so she just like we told her the whole thing and she was super understanding and she just was like Fast passes are not going to sort this, and she like reached under the counter, or I, I, it can't have been under the counter because like you wouldn't just leave. I think it's like a locked drawer. Anyway, I think she had. She, yeah. It felt like she just like produced this massive wad of bills. Um, <laughs> we'd never seen dollars. We'd never seen, I'd seen them the year before. Yeah, I worked there. I certainly like, never in, <laughs> in a massive like uh, wad like that. Uh, and so yeah, so she just started like putting bills on the table, and she gave us a hundred and thirty dollars. Probably so. I was like. Everything's fine now. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> we can easily be bought. Um, but we weren't we weren't complaining, and we weren't mad. We just were like, just, this is all just a bit strange. No, totally. Um, and we certainly weren't um, complaining because we thought we we're going to get something. No. It really wasn't that at all. Um, but I think you were just more concerned that you know this was my first trip it just and you wanted it to be perfect and for me and it's my first time in a disney hotel and all you hear about is how great everything yeah, is yeah, yeah, and yeah. like i was like oh the the mouse keepers like do fun things with the towels and i was excited <laughs> yeah, about been. that and they hadn't been at all so i was like oh like they, they, they've oh. not even been so <laughs> um so yeah so anyway um she like i said she gave us 130 dollars uh, which i think was for like she said Go and have a meal on us. Yeah. So it was like for a table service type restaurant. Yeah. Um, we yeah. didn't do that. We, it's not what we did at all. <laughs> we ended up going. Uh, Don't tell Miriam what we did with the money. Oh. <laughs> we went to. <laughs> that was Universal. Um, we went to Universal uh, because, especially because Soph um, was is such a huge Harry Potter fan, and at the time. Islands of Adventure had basically just opened their it Harry was like, Potter. That was the only park with Harry yeah. Potter in, in it. it. And um, we only had enough money for one park anyway. We didn't have enough for for both. For, for the two park no. pass. And actually, we didn't even have enough money to get there. The story of how we get there is coming up. Should we tell that in a minute? Yes. But we managed to get a free ride off someone. We did. <laughs> It was a very uh, interesting trip. <laughs> it was a friend. We were with. Yeah. We, did, we didn't just like hitchhike on the side. <laughs> it just, yeah, it was it was serendipitous. So I think we should talk about like your first time in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Like what was it like that morning that we woke up and we got on the bus and we went to the Magic Kingdom and you saw the castle for the first time. It was incredible. It was... Can you hear Chip crying? Yeah. 
That's why fine. I was distracted. <laughs> he's fine, he just wants to come in, but he's wet, so he can't. And also, I think your mum's cooking and he yeah. often yelps because he just wants food. <laughs> Chip is fine, don't worry. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was amazing. I remember being, like, super excited. I think we've spoken about this quite a few times as well, but I couldn't sleep especially because no. we're so far ahead of, of yeah. Florida so I woke up at like three o'clock there was a t we were in the ranchos in uh, Coronado so we had our own not our own little pool but there was a pool right outside our, our apartment which was for the whole complex but it kind of felt like no one else was there very certainly, rarely was there anyone there certainly there was no one else using that pool so I and they don't close them at night so no. like the main pool gets closed but you were swimming that like like all through the night yeah i did so basically when i woke up i was just kind of like i didn't want to turn the tv on we didn't the phones weren't like now where you could like go onto the internet and stuff no. it was like it had proper buttons and stuff on them it's like ages ago <laughs> uh so anyway i didn't want to stacy was still there stacy was still there um, but i didn't want to turn on the tv because you were asleep yeah. so i didn't want to wake you so i went out and i just like floated <laughs> And like I, like, I swam quietly and floated and watched the stars and then I watched the sunrise, which was insane. Especially in Florida, like those skies are just unbelievable. And then I was like a kid on Christmas. I was finally like, you know, like when your parents wake up and you're like, yes, we yeah. get to do it now. So I, and which is so weird because like I was so apprehensive about the whole thing. Yeah. But I think because I was there and it was like America. And warm. And warm. And yeah, it, like because you were so excited and... Anyway, so I was like really excited uh, and then we got the bus, which then we just like, e we even fell in love with the buses. We were you, even you were being like, like, they was like, the buses talk to you. I know, yeah. I was like, yeah. Sit back and let us do the driving. And we've been, you know, like, <laughs> I, I know that everyone quotes those, but we have been like, we just fell in love with every aspect. And that morning, I was so worried because the day that we got there was like that horrible, like dreary grey sky and it was raining. I think it had just been a thunderstorm because yeah. I don't think there was thunder when we got there, but it was just grey, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And that morning, you know those like perfect Florida mornings where it's like a pale blue sky and there's not like a cloud and the sun's coming through and it's yeah. like just like that perfect like mild Florida morning. Yeah. It's just the and the smell of the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Like I remember just walking up to like because back then you watch the show. Yeah. Um, at Out the station front. and yeah. the train comes in with the characters and even just then you were like I was like this is insane this is before you even get inside I know and like I, I knew that you were a bit like oh we might we might miss it but if we miss it it's not not a problem we, it's we like we got there probably for like quarter two yeah, we opening because we were fine we had loads of time yeah but um I just remember being like, why would you want to miss that like you know <laughs> yeah. like it was so and then I got there and then I saw the castle which was, it was just super surreal. I definitely cried. Yeah. Um, because the whole it was so overwhelming. But like it, everything's so perfect there. Like you say, there was like a horse coming down um, the main street, and like I think I'd just seen that image so many times, like times in the lead up to it, and like even yeah. even not really being aware of like Walt Disney World, you see that picture. Um, sub subliminally, even on adverts and stuff like that. So to be there, and it was quiet. It was quiet. Like, but it looked perfect. Yeah, like compare. Maybe it's just us being like the good old days of Disney. Mm. But like ten years ago in September, it was quiet. You, it, 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 it was really, really quiet. Yeah, it, I, it was lovely. You'd never get it anywhere near I as quiet was, as that. Now. Um, after Labor Day. Yeah. Labor Day was busy, and then after that, it was so quiet. Yeah. Uh, like we we hardly queued for anything. No, for long. Um, yeah. And then we went to we went to the castle, and then we went to Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, we went straight there. And you were nervous. I was nervous. I was nervous anyway. But this was like, yeah, it was so funny because I was nervous anyway, and I was definitely nervous about Splash because I knew that there was a big drop in it. Yeah. And as we were walking past, there was this little kid who was <laughs> yeah. like crying her eyes out you might have heard us talking about she'd it she'd just come off splash mountain yeah and but but the whole thing was like 
all the way in the lead up, all the way when you were trying to convince me, you were like, these rides are built for kids. Yeah. Kids love them. And it's so magical. Like, it's so magical. But like, but if, but if kids can love them, then obviously they're not scary for adults. And I was like, yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough, yeah. And I walked past and this girl was like, red, her face was beetroot red. She had like tears streaming she was down. She probably about six. She probably like six, like blonde hair and pigtails. And she just was like, it was so terrible. <laughs> like to her dad, who was just like, <laughs> uh, trying to calm her down. And I just walked past and was like, nope. I don't want to do it anymore. I was like, oh god, so like, then, like you ruined it. Thank, thank god though we were going on to, because we, uh, we were going to Thunder Mountain first anyway. Yeah. So by the time that happened, I sort of, I sort of got over it and forgot about it anyway. And then... So we, we got Dave onto Big Thunder Mountain yeah. and we sat down and... Um, oh yeah! Do you remember what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. were in our seat. I think we were front row and Prince, yeah. but all the one behind. We were very, very much at the front because I could hear the cast members that were on panel. Panel was like at the top left hand side and the person that was checking lap bars was speaking to panel. And I, I used to know all like the Disney the World terminology. ride, yeah, terminology because I worked on a ride too and they used the same same words. But it was something like LP fail, which is, um, or LB, lap bar fail. So it'd be LV probably. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> La pa fail. La pa. It was something like that. And they were like, and then the lap bars like wouldn't, it kept doing that noise, that like hissing yeah. sound to try and get them to like engage and lock. Um, and they wouldn't. So they asked us to then get back out and stand at the side where you would exit the ride. They kind of backed us all up against the wall they took that train away and then brought the other train round and then asked us to get back in. And Dave at this point was like as white as a ghost. Well, I tell you why as well, because like part of my thing was just like, I'm not gonna be, not gonna be able to fit on stuff, which for most people and for 99% of the rides at Disney World, you really don't have to worry. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like they're so accommodating on almost everything, right? Yeah. Like, but I was just like, my first ride and I broke it. <laughs> Like I honestly, no, I know it, it was nothing to do with me, and like obviously I've been on there like so many more times, but I just I just was convinced yeah. that it, like I was that was going to be exactly yeah. what was going to happen. And you know how the... vocal if you've watched our Disney books, you know that David's vocal. I think he's like, well, like well, even the intro for all the videos. Yeah. I'm like, you were quite nervous on that like initial like incline because it's quite clunky anyway, yeah. isn't it? Like it sounds unsafe. I think we do that to make it feel like Yeah, it's like rickety, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then I think you loved it. I did, but I was like, oh god, oh god, yeah. oh god, oh god, and like all these little kids were just like this guy. But you did well. And then we went on Splash. Yes. We went straight. We went on. straight onto Splash, but now, and since then that's always been our um, order that we do things. We always go in straight no. down to the left, and then first ride is a big thunder, second ride is splash. Stuck in our ways. That's gonna change. Not baby stuck Brown. in our ways, but it's just like our tradition. Which yeah, it's fine. That will change. What we'll we doing next? Like first ride, Peter Pan. Second ride, Dumbo. Dumbo. <laughs> oh my God, for God's sake. Cool. Can our baby grow up, please? <laughs> yeah. Hurry up. Be bigger now. <laughs> um. But yeah, like in terms of rides, Dave did so well. Like I did, I was quite strict with you and I was like, I really want you to try most rides. Like mm. if you don't want to do Tower and Rockin' and Everest, like I completely understand. Yeah. But I was like, please just try Splash Mountain. Yeah. Like, and you you did. I, I did and I, and and I obviously it. really enjoyed it. And I think because of that, that made the other ones not seem as bad as well because yeah. the theming is so good and because it's not like... I mean, apart from maybe Rock and Roller Coaster, but Rock and Roller Coaster. It's Dave's favourite ride. It's my favourite ride, but <laughs> it got me on because it got me hooked because I love Aerosmith. Yeah. If it was a different theming, then maybe I wouldn't no. have gone on it. But you were the one. We think we did Magic Kingdom, um, Hollywood Studios, Hollywood, then maybe Animal, then maybe Epcot. Yeah. And I think by the time we got to Hollywood Studios, Dave was just like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Like, you, you were really... I think Tower was the one that I was very much... Because I've been really on like rides Tower. like that, that are not, like, well-themed. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Like, drop rides. Yeah. But also, you can see everything all the time. Whereas, I think Tower's great because you don't see everything all the time. And then you just get glimpses of it. And then you draw. Yeah. And, and the theming is so good. But it's so good. I, like... 
think I'm really good on rides, but Tower scares me a little bit. Yeah. I don't really like that feeling. It's of the being sensation, dropped. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but. But you fell in love with the rides, and back then it was. Um, celebrated dream country parade yeah and then and wishes. wishes it was still phantasmic it was well it was illuminations which is now gone um and yeah those were and, and, and also um when you were on your icp i remember you talking a lot about the fireworks i think it was it summer night tastic yeah so the year that i worked there we had half not half and half we had wishes maybe the first two or three weeks um and then once like peak season started they got a new fireworks show which was called summer night tastic and it was amazing they used more of like the perimeter fireworks around the magic kingdom yeah. so it, it was bigger than wishes um, and they had this whole scene with like the um the pirates i think it's captain hook and jack sparrow come and like blow up the castle they've got elements of that now in um uh, happily ever after, after but back then it was it was that Massive. section was bigger so, um, but yeah, listen to Summer Night Tastic Fireworks on YouTube if you want to know what I listen to every night when I went there. <laughs> but I was just, yeah, well, yeah, and that was when you were on the Barnstormer. Yeah. And you could, like, hear it when you were working and stuff. Yeah. But I do remember just, like, being super excited for that because I remember you thinking that, I, I remember you saying that you would always think about me when the fireworks were on. I always, and sometimes I'd have my breaks, I'd be sat at the back of Toontown, which is now New Fantasyland. And I'd, I, there's a subway down in the tunnels of the Magic Kingdom, so I used to get. The more you know. <laughs> I used to get a foot long and I'd have half of my lunch and half of my tea. So. Twix. And a, a Twix. I did used to get a Twix out the vending machine in our break room, um, and I just used to sit with like half my subway sandwich and like watch the fireworks from like behind like the big. I think it's still there. The big red tent. Yeah. Behind that is like where we used to like, be out of sight <laughs> on our breaks and actually that's the place where Dave told me that he loved me over the phone it was because you hadn't told me before you left before I left I wanted to tell you but I, ju I just couldn't and then I felt really weird and sad when you left and then you were away for like a long time so I w but I wasn't sure whether to wait and tell you face to face or whatever so anyway ended up just telling you over the phone. This is off topic, but Dave told me he loved me over the phone in the Magic Kingdom, which is very nice. You were, where were you? I think you were in Scotland at the time. I was on Buchanan Street in <laughs> Glasgow. Um, and... In the rain. So yeah, he told me he loved me while I um, was working at Disney and I'd kind of been waiting for him because I didn't want to say it first. Because um, I think I... I knew we were meant to be together and we'd get married and everything and Dave was like my first ever relationship so I was like no he's gonna say it first like I'm only gonna get to do this once. I had been <laughs> I had been burnt a little bit in the past yeah, and it took me a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah but but so then when I came back from my Disney college program I was coming back to like someone that had just told me that they loved me and Dave waited for me at Gatwick um, oh yeah. Do you remember? So that basically there was no way of getting, to, you had an early flight back because it was an overnight flight yeah. and there was no tube or bus that would get me there early enough to see you off the plane So the only th and I couldn't afford a hotel so the only thing I could do was like go straight from work. I think I maybe had a drink with someone to like kill some time, yeah. got like one of the last tubes and then just slept on the uh, the benches there. And then like, and he had, like tried to freshen myself up. I made you like a sign out of and, and these, back like, of a cornflakes. It was. <laughs> and these like dead flowers. Because obviously you'd been holding them for like. I probably slept on them. <laughs> like, underneath my face. And he I tried. This is like, it was like a movie. He met me like at the gate. And it was just like. I don't know. I just, really missed you. I know. And we just, yeah, we were then. In love. <laughs> yes, we were in love before that. We were. He just hadn't we're said it. Together and in love. <laughs> and then I was like, "My student loans come in. I've booked Disney World." <laughs> um, but yeah. Gosh, that was that was ten years ago. Yeah. Exactly ten years ago. Crazy. We've been together a long time. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, I think now maybe we should talk about the American Idol experience because that's something that everybody wants to know about. Oh yes, please. So if you didn't know, <laughs> back in the day, I think it used to be Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah. I might be wrong. That's right. I, no, that is right. I didn't go to Disney like 
pre this. For anyone who doesn't know, it, I think it, I think you're right. I think it is where Frozen Thing Along is now. But it basically was where the it's now Chinese theater, but it oh, was the hat, hat the was hat. right there, and it was like just to the left that big building that has like the kind of circular front. Yeah, that's what it was. Um. I think it was me that convinced you to do it. I don't think you were that keen. Yeah, I wasn't that bothered. And I don't think we realised what a long day it was going to be. Yeah. Like, maybe, it wasn't a bad experience, but it definitely, like, I think we went in about 10am thinking maybe by, like, we'd have we'd be having lunch and it would be over. Yeah, do, like, done, fully yeah. done. Yeah, and it would be a fun thing to do. And I think we were still, like, doing things with them at like four in the afternoon yeah so thank gosh we were there for two weeks because it really like yeah took a whole day and it was it was quite early on as well so i mean not that it would have mattered because it was later on it, it we'd have done more stuff already but like i don't know yeah we so we ended up we went in and i like sang for a producer which basically just meant i sang for a person a who decided <laughs> who decided whether or not who was in a suit yeah a cast yeah. member in a suit who decided <laughs> whether or not i was job. talented <laughs> enough to like to like sing uh and then they gave me like a list of the songs and then I think they... You had to pick two. I had to pick to two. To perform to someone else. Like another so person. you picked Somebody to Love by Queen yeah. and the Aerosmith song. Oh, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. I Don't Want to Miss a yeah, Thing. Yeah, because my original song I think was White Snake. Yeah, Here I, I Go Again. Had. No, they didn't. So. <laughs> it's not Disney enough. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so I did that and then I sang... They asked me to sing the Queen one, which I did, and then they were like, "Yeah, cool. You're into. The, you're gonna go into the live shows, which basically is just just like the next room." Yeah, with, um, with like the audience, which are people that are obviously just in the park for the yeah, day. Yeah, and, and if they want to come in, I think they, watch. I think they try and get people to like. There are cast members out there being like, "You should come and watch this." Yeah. Um, and then so yeah, so they had I had like because they had cameras and stuff, which you it. We'll link the yeah. video, I guess. This was filmed on a flip camera, so and it's me filming, and I was filming Dave on the stage, and then I was like filming the screen that was like right above yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, it's on a really old random YouTube channel. So actually, this has been on YouTube the whole time. Yeah. Because none of you have ever found it. We've never <laughs> told anyone about it. So. And we got this far without doing yeah, it. Yeah, and we would have like downloaded it and included it in this video, but we do not know what email address that channel was set up with the or password, the password. <laughs> basically anything to be honest so thank god there's not always of embarrassing things on that channel know, because true, we wouldn't yeah. be able to get rid of them anyway so the link is in the description box in the description box and in the icard um, and on this face <laughs> the audience like voted for who they wanted and actually when the little girl won there was was it spanish like a spanish family in the back yeah and they were like no <laughs> and then yeah. they like to David Brown. <laughs> um, they were funny. like your biggest fan. Know, they yeah. were, they were so funny. Hilarious. Anyway, this is the crazy thing about Universal. So Dave sang, and then next minute, this girl tapped me on the shoulder, and she was like, "That's that's David Christopher Brown, isn't it?" He went to Mount View, and I was like. Yeah, she was like, oh my god, my name's Lucy. I know Dave from, from college. She was a year below me. And you, oh, you um didn't know at this point because you were like backstage yeah, right. and I was sat on my own in the audience. And then when you came out, you saw me with Lucy and you were like, no, oh my god. You were on your own and she was like, I've got a surprise for you. I was like, And then what? she was like, yeah, and she was me. like, <laughs> And I was like, whoa, this is like so mind blowing. Um, and so yes, yeah, so she had come because she was also singing yeah. in the America. She did win. She did she's win. Amazing. She was amazing. She sang Reflection. Yeah, she's like an actual Disney princess. Yeah. Luke's voice, everything. <laughs> um, anyway, so she, um, and it turns out her dad, it, like, it's like an Imagineer. It's like an Imagineer. Yeah. yeah. What uh, a good job. Yeah, he incredible. Absolutely incredible. He does loads of different stuff. He does stuff for theatre as did. well. He did Midway Mania. He did, yeah. Like, he, it's it, part of the design team for that. He's insane. Amazing. Um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we were basically just, they were like, oh, so what are you doing? And they're like a proper, are we still recording? Yes, yeah. we are, yeah. They're like a proper... Disney family, you know, just those families that like have gone every year or as much as they could. Well, because he's and, been working, sorry. he's yeah. been working there for such a long time. It has been such a huge part yeah, of their and lives. I think they were like amazed that it was our first time. Yeah. And they were like, oh my god, have you been to Universal? And we were like, no, we can't um, really get there because it was like, 
I don't even think Uber was a thing then. It was it like wasn't. it was like we had to get a taxi and yeah. I think we knew it'd be so expensive. Well we we priced it up and it was like yeah. sixty dollars or something. Yeah. Um <laughs> we would have enough even one ticket. Literally like <laughs> You go in, I'll so wait outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well you're the Harry Potter fan, so I'll just wait here. So at this point we had the money from Miriam um that we were trying to decide what to do with. And then Lucy and her parents were like, oh, we're going to Universal. I think it was in a day or two, L wasn't Literally it? the day after, I think. Yeah, yeah, they were like, we're happy to come and pick you up and then drop you back off at Coronado Springs. We were just like, <laughs> thank, thank you, you. So, much. so they they just basically took us and brought us home. But it was also really lovely because then I got to spend a bit more time with yeah, Lucy. And you got on really well with Lucy, with Lucy as well. And the parents were so oh, nice. Yeah, and then like I did a show um, near where she lives and they came and saw me at like yeah. Medical 34th yeah. Street. Um, so yeah, it, like they're lovely, really lovely. So it's just, it, we have weird experiences like, like I that. Know, yeah. People like rescue us. Like I know. Dave's Walmart um, yeah, extravaganza absolutely. with um, Becky and Lloyd, Becky and Lloyd. <laughs> in our last vlogs. Yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about in our honeymoon vlogs, watch day one. Yeah, the travel, travel day. day. Dave gets himself into... I, get, I got stranded. <laughs> <laughs> and got rescued. I did, by my actual heroes. They're amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, but yeah, that's that's the story of American Idol. Yeah. Are you glad you did it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you get to say that you did yeah. it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did it. Yeah. And you know, it's not the worst I've ever sang. No. I don't think it was bad, I thought it was good. Thanks. But you're always hard on yourself. Anyway, moving on. I wish we knew what you guys like wanted to know, but I guess the only thing we've really not talked about now is food. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> so, I think I ate a lot of churros. We were on the quick service dining plan, so we just... I had never had a churro or even knew what one was before. If you'd have said to me, it's... I, I feel like I only had one towards the end of the trip and then was like, where have these been my whole life? <laughs> it's, it's, you should have just said it was a big donut stick. I did say that. No, you didn't. What else would I have said? You, you were like, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I definitely didn't say that. Um, what was your favourite food? Uh, I loved, I remember loving Pico's Bill. Yes. Um, and they had like a an amazing like pulled pork barbecue burger thing, mm. which was like amazing. Um, now I have burritos when I go there because I'm like well into Mexican food these days. Um, what else? Oh, their chicken nuggets were like chicken tenders. Oh yeah. They were so good. They and were like much bigger. you had one of those big turkey legs. I did have one of those big turkey legs. I'm sure I've got a picture of me with it. Um, I think you have. <laughs> which we'll put here. Uh, but it was massive. It was like, it was way too much food. It was way too much. It was very nice yeah. though. Um, I can't even remember how much we ate, but... We did, we, we yeah. Did a lot. <laughs> and the thing is as well, like you were saying before, it was uh, every meal they gave you a chocolate pudding. A chocolate pudding. <laughs> and they don't do that anymore, don't worry. <laughs> no, you, I think you, there's like three three parts you can sort of choose a side. There's a lot more variety now. Back yeah. then it was, it was, I think the dining plan was fairly new. It was basically just burgers and chips, wasn't it? And, and, and chicken nuggets and, and chips. And also, back then, Disney vlogs weren't, weren't really a thing. So I think that we've picked up a lot just from watching vlogs. So yeah. you know to go to like Yak and Yeti and you know to go to like Katsura Grill and, yeah. and all the different kind of places to get different foods. I think as well, because we were like, well, quick service, that what, what's quick service to, to us? Like burgers. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's. Yeah. And so we sort of just n n never in a million years thought that there would be a Katsura grill option or a. No. You know, something. We didn't really do our research, but back then, like, there wasn't as much available, was there? It was. No. You worked there for three months, though. I know, but I was, like, just eating those Subway sandwiches. And to be, yeah, and to be fair, you were pretty much just in Magic Kingdom the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I really was. But yeah. But yeah, it was, it was so magical. And then obviously, you guys have seen if you if you want to our 2017 trip which was our second trip so yeah and um, our 2019 trip which was our, our third trip. trip together yes yes but disney is just the best and if you haven't been just go yeah <laughs> and we want to go to all, like all the other parks now as well we really do uh, like really want, want to do, to do california, california because then it's like Tokyo. starting from scratch again yeah. like enjoying things together for the first and th time th and this sounds really crazy but things that like are different but the same like i really want to try the guardians of the galaxy right because it is tower of terror yeah. but it's different theming and the same with um the indiana jones right there is is dinosaur 
but like a totally different theming. Yeah. I'm just so excited by that. Like, anyway, sorry. Yes. I just, yeah. But we get to do it together for the first time as well. I know. I feel like if we go to Paris, I'll feel like it will be the first time for me. Oh, same. I cannot remember Paris at all. I was so young. Um, so yeah, we really hope you enjoyed this Disney video. We're going to keep these up every Friday. There'll be something different. If you have any requests for yeah, Disney videos you would like us to do, obviously we'll do some kind of like favourites yeah. and our tips and things that we've learned over the years. But we are not Disney experts. No. We love just people that love it. So you you do have a unique experience in the fact that you worked there for, for yeah, three months. Yeah, I think being a cast member definitely opens your eyes to how things work. Um, but things have probably changed massively in ten years. Maybe since I since I worked there. Um, but every time any of you go on the barnstorm or, or send me pictures, it it like melts my heart. Melt. So. Yeah. But yeah, please give us some ideas. Uh, and we'll see you on Monday for a new video. We'll be live on Tuesday. And we will decide on a time and let you know well ahead of time. We'll let you know definitely on Instagram. And and in Monday's video as well. Oh yeah, let's do that. But also <laughs> on Instagram and Twitter and all those places. It'll be about six o'clock. Probably six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Bye! Bye! We love you! It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you